Hello guys welcome to Shix Travels, today we are going to talk about how to travel the world for free. Number 8. Take advantage of overbooked flights. You've probably experienced this one. The airline employee opens the intercom and announces, we're slightly overbooked for today's flight and are offering a free flight voucher up to $500 for any passengers willing to take our next flight at 7 p.m. It's not always practical to take them up on it. Sometimes, you need to get home for a pressing reason, such as a big meeting the next morning. But sometimes, it only costs you a few hours at the airport, and you stand to save a lot. Typically, if no one takes the airline up on these offers, they escalate. They may start at a $300 voucher, then $500, then $700, and keep going until the offer is so astounding people race to the counter to take it. If the first offer isn't worth the inconvenience to you, but you do have some flexibility, move closer to the counter and keep your ears open. Be ready to jump on the deal if it escalates enough to be worth your trouble. Number 7. Crew a yacht or cruise ship. Just because you don't know a slipknot from a half Windsor doesn't mean you can't crew a boat. Yachts and cruise ships need crew members of all skill sets, from cooking to security to communications. The ship provides room and board plus a chance to see the world while sailing the seven seas and beyond. But expect the hours to be long and the wages to be low. If you long for the sea life but are wary of cruise ships, look into yacht jobs instead. Several websites help connect yacht employers with crew members, including Crew Seekers, Yay Crew, and Find a Crew. Number 6. Swap Houses. You live in Seattle and want to visit Berlin. Someone in Berlin wants to visit Seattle. Why not swap houses with them for your trip? It's a win-win. You get to stay for free in an authentic local home rather than a hotel, and your home doesn't have to sit vacant and vulnerable to catastrophes like break-ins or flooding. Granted, it's not always that simple. Perhaps you want to visit Berlin in July, and the Berliner wants to visit Seattle in October. Perhaps you're worried about the risk of having a stranger stay in your home. The good news is reputable home swapping websites provide a level of transparency, with peer reviews and identity verification to give members greater peace of mind. Some home swapping websites also offer credit systems for indirect house swapping. By offering your house to others, you accumulate points or credits, which you can redeem at your leisure at houses all over the world. Think of it like couch surfing for grown-ups. Number 5. Capitalize on loyalty programs. Rewards don't just come from credit cards. Airlines, hotel chains, and other travel businesses often offer loyalty points for frequent travelers. If you always fly with the same airline, you can rack up frequent flyer miles. The same goes for hotels. These businesses sometimes offer brief promotions with killer deals to score points quickly and cheaply or accept fewer points than usual for flights or stays. Travel forums and frugal travel blogs let you stay on top of current promotions. Number 4. Maximize credit card rewards. If you have the right card, you can earn free plane tickets by putting purchases on your credit card. And many of the best travel rewards credit cards offer some enticing benefits. But that's far from the only option for maximizing your rewards. Many travel rewards cards, such as the Delta Sky Miles Platinum Card from American Express, offer free or discounted companion vouchers every year. You can score a free flight from your rewards points, plus a cheap or free flight for your travel partner from the companion voucher. Then there are sign-up bonuses. Some are positively generous, like the Chase Sapphire Preferred Cards. You can also maximize rewards by using your credit card every time you pay for flights. Some credit cards and partner airlines offer double or triple rewards, or higher, for booking flights. There are loads of ways you can score free flights with rewards. Just don't overspend in the name of saving money. Number 3. House Sit or Pet Sit Did you know there are entire websites dedicated to connecting house sitters with pet owners? Pet owners don't want to leave their pets in kennels surrounded by unknown dogs and cats when they travel. They'd rather let them stay at home, a home which is just sitting vacant and unused. 
house sitters can stay for free at these homes for the price of caring for the owner's pets. While it's a relatively easy job, it does mean you have to schedule your day around the pet's needs. You can't leave for a weekend excursion or go on 14-hour day trips. But for animal lovers, it can be an easy way to save money with free accommodations anywhere in the world, often in high-end homes. And house-sitting isn't limited to pet owners. Some homeowners sleep easier knowing someone is minding their home while they're away, whether that means you care for their plants or are simply there to deter break-ins. But these opportunities are the exception, not the rule, and most house-sitting gigs do involve caring for pets. Number 2. Work abroad in expat-friendly industries. There are plenty of expat-friendly job options overseas, from international nurses and doctors to au pairs to educators to engineers. Living in Abu Dhabi has allowed us to travel all over the world. We flew non-stop to Bulgaria for $185 round trip. We spent even less on non-stop round trip flights to Cyprus. Every time we fly back to the United States, we make a stopover in Europe for a few days to enjoy gastronomy in Lyon, the Christmas markets in Munich, or the nightlife in Amsterdam. Number 1. Look for work exchanges. There are plenty of employers who provide free housing for short-term or even long-term stays in exchange for work. This arrangement is called a work exchange. For example, if you've ever been intrigued by the idea of living and working on a farm, WWOOF is your chance to see the world while you do so. WWOOF stands for Worldwide Opportunities on Organic Farms. Farming is primarily seasonal work, and farmers need seasonal help. While they often have an abundance of space, housing, and food, many organic farmers don't have an abundance of money. So in exchange for four to six hours help each day, they provide room and board. You're on your own for the cost of transportation to get there, though. You can go woofing by yourself, as a couple, with friends, or even as a family with children. Select which country you're interested in, and WWOOF will show you a list of host farms and connect you with the farmers. And many hostels find themselves in a similar situation as organic farmers, with plenty of beds and rooms, but short on labor. So they offer a free room, and sometimes free meals, in exchange for work. A few even pay a small stipend of spending money. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not, like and share.